Hey guys, welcome back to some Into the Breach. We're gonna do the Frozen Island now. Sure, why not? Throw on now. Let's just do cryogenic labs first. Defend both robot facilities. Uh, it's just some factories. One factory, two factory. Looks like, uh, I don't know. Something weird. Alright, we'll do something like this. So, this guy has to be damaged by one of the turret guys, but yeah. Because we cannot move him around. Where? What is that? Cannon bot. He's not doing anything though. So this guy's attacking that. So I can't really get him to move anywhere. So it's going to be up to this guy to punch him. Except he's not going to do that. Uh... Best thing to do is like something like this. So how do we entice him to attack the other one? Um, that's what I'm going to focus on now. I want to do this. So that's, yeah, actually that's a pretty good idea. Except for the fact that he's going to deal damage first. And hit something, so we can't. We can't really. Like, I was thinking of moving him back onto that, and this guy deals with damage some other way. But yeah, because this guy can deal with us. I've just, I've just accepted this fact. But I would like to push him onto that tile. So we're gonna, we're gonna commit to this action here. Uh. Fuck. Actually, this will just kill him. Fuck that guy. Uh, who, oh, you have an action available? Oh, right, he gets another action. Of course he does. Well, I don't want him to do anything, so... <laughs> he just gets to be a Mexican jumping mech, I guess. Alright, so now this guy has a cannon available. Is he on my team? No, he's not even on my side. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Alright. What is this guy? Watch this shit. Watch how badass I am. Yeah, fuck you guys. I'm the fucking greatest. Except when I'm not. Fuck, how do I deal with this guy? Uh, probably just back here. Fucking dickhead. Alright. I mean... Intelligent person. Well, you can't do anything here. Actually, I can move this guy over here. Yeah, come to me. For once, I was hoping that the bots would actually be on my side. Alright, so, I mean, the obvious solution here is to just run away, because nothing, nothing is actually threatened here that I should care about. So, uh, now the hope is that we can kind of just bait them into, actually, you know what, uh, fuck. We do need to deal with this guy. This guy we don't care about, the other guy we do. Alright, let's just toss you over here. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much else for me to do here. So I'm gonna go do something like this. Alright, hopefully I'm not gonna uh, regret my life after doing this. Oh, look at this shit. Because <laughs> they do a buttload of damage to themselves. Alright, there's two over there to deal with. 
Uh... Alright, I don't think this is a matter of just jumping over here, honestly. It might actually be, though. Yeah, like, how do I do this in a way where I don't kill everything? You know? Because they won't move. Oh, uh, you know what I should have done? I know what I should have done. So this guy can jump twice, right? One. That's number one. And here's number two. Ta-da. There you go. Pretty good. We delayed them. Hooray. Alright. Well, I guess now we go straight to the harder one. Alright, so we gotta defend both robots and then uh, the lab. Why is it always something like that? So, to play freeze mines, alright. The artillery guy can definitely stay in the back. The science machine I want more in the front. Oh boy. Alright. There is definitely some shit going on. Alright, so he will go first. So the easiest solution here is actually to do something like push him out of the way and pull him to safety. So we just need to do some damage to him. We need to pull this guy over. I mean, the easiest way to do damage is to just do this. And are you in, in able to push him over? You are. All right. And can you pull this guy to safety? You can't. All right. So this looks pretty simple. One. Two. And he can he can even jump again. Actually, can I? No, I'm not allowed to do another action. But we I mean, might as well just j jump somewhere else. And this guy you can just bring over here. So they'll just kill each other, or I'd, they'll come close to it, at the very least. Alright. This guy is back. Alrighty. Well, this one's a pretty simple one here. We just simply shoot these guys into position here. I need to use this. Move this guy like that. Pretty good stuff. And just, uh... I don't know about this guy. I, I would probably prefer to make him... kind of uh, not harm this guy. Particularly because he does 3 damage. So luckily we can... drag him back here. Ah, uh, you still have an action, huh? Might as well, you know. Well, at least they're doing a lot of damage to each other. Oh cool, that guy froze himself. Alright. This one also doesn't seem particularly bad. Except for the fact I'm gonna damage the building with this perfect shot. This perfect fucking shot ruined by this guy, but I think I may just end up not caring. Uh huh. Is this thing frozen? No, it's not. See, I can't quite just jump on this because it's the same problem. This is like this is the moment where we wish we had immune buildings, you know. But I think I'm willing to take that for such a amazing action, especially because this person can't go anywhere else. Um, I think no matter what, we're going to be taking damage here. 
Because I can't just go over here and, like, I can only toss this guy. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do this. I like this. I like this shot here so much. I'm gonna do it. It's just so good at this. It's acceptable losses to me, honestly. All right. Uh, unbreakable. What to deal with that? I don't even know what that means. Breakable. Have a mech absorb five damage in a single battle. Okay. Because I'm supposed to do things like that. All right. Well, not much else here to do to do anything with. We have a major problem with these guys because it's just like, what do you even do with them? I'll just bring him back. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Everything makes me into a snowman. I can't pull him. I just get to be fat, fat ass, I guess. Whatever, we don't care. It's good enough. Easy shit. Sort of easy. It probably shouldn't, sh shouldn't say easy. It shouldn't say easy because um, I'm sure someone's bothered because I struggle sometimes. All right, what's this one? Call kill all enemies before they retreat. That is different. Protect uh, emergency batteries. All right. So we actually have to kill all of them. What the fuck? This is interesting. I, I, I don't think I've ever had this kind of situation. I don't, I, I, he, do, he does damage absorption, I don't care. Right, he can't even move. <laughs> oh shit. I want I want to move this guy over. Give me a card of me. I know containment. Probably should deal with this guy soon. Alright. Whatever who cares. Uh, let's see here. I would like to judo throw him over. What judo throwing we will do. See, so the thing is, I'm, I'm concerned about this guy, because I think I can only really do one damage per turn, so we actually have to make sure we're, we're hitting this guy. Yeah. Because of things like that. Unless we make someone else kill him. Which is a big if. Because the thing is, this guy can only do his little fucking shitty ass stomp. It's not a bad idea. It deals with one of them. Huh. I'll try to deal with this guy, actually. I mean, I can kill him outright like that, but that's like, still not good. Huh. Should have maybe thought this through a little bit better, but oh well. Oh well. We didn't think it through. I don't think we're going to be able to kill him. 
I mean, maybe I should have knocked him into him so he could take damage, but... Because this guy, I don't think, no matter what, I don't think I can kill him. Because what, like, he's going to go into the ground when I do this. <laughs> so, he's he's alive. Yeah, that's what I was kind of concerned about, honestly, for this run. Listen, like, they don't count as all dead, so... It was a bit of an oddball, but, yeah. Because he's he's underground. Like, we, we, want, we actually want to break him out first. But I've never encountered that kind of objective, so... So, rip our perfect run, but at least we get grid defense. Well, let's get this last one. Break five buildings out of ice, take less than three grid damage, protect the power generator. Alright. Well, let's have a look here. Alright. Well, <laughs> this guy can't be webbed, so that's nice. Alright, well. Simplest thing to do would be something like this. I would really like them to harm each other, though. So this guy can't go that far. So if we do this, we push him back. How much damage will he do? Probably like two. So we broke one out. Hmm. I'm just gonna stomp everything. In the universe. Alright, what can we do about this? I could I could drown him, but that's a really terrible idea. But what we can do instead is like harm them both. Seems like a much better solution here. Fuck, the healing one. Alright, so we're just gonna let this guy do his thing. I don't mind that. Alright, but we can we can judo throw this asshole. Alright, so I, I think I have the solutions here. Alright, so. So to this guy, fuck you. You go into the fire. Go repair yourself. Um, this guy can come over here somewhere. You go into that. And you get the fuck away from that building. And we lived happily ever after. This guy breaks into a couple of the buildings. Um, that guy exploded because of this guy. I forgot that's what he did, but that's okay. And don't worry, we can't be affected by anything. Alright, so we are gonna have to deal with this guy. The easiest way is to do something like this. No? Hmm. We have two... we have to break out two more buildings. Okay, we're gonna just, I think, let out the universe, I think. Because I was, I was honestly kind of thinking of breaking out some buildings, but we can actually do that during our next turn. So I think we're gonna do this. Yeah, this seems okay. Because hopefully we'll have some options to not have to deal with the buildings here. Okay, that's already not looking good. Alright, well... I mean, I still think we have some good options for this. I am cautiously optimistic. Uh, so we can just kind of... So here's the thing, this guy can just harm a bunch of... like, just get a bunch of things over there, so that's fine. All we really have to do is stomp this guy. Which we can do. Alright. And there we did, we did that one. Uh, that guy's going to be just fine. There you go. Uh, who has an action? You do? Oh, uh, yeah. 
Actually, you know what? Totally can do something else. Instead, we'll just jump around the universe. Alright, we got them all. to happen. We have a reactor though. We didn't use yet. Uh, is this thing really good here? That is worth it. Ally immune, plus one damage each. Yeah, we can do that. See, movement isn't that important on this guy, but having two damage I think would be. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, this guy, of course. <laughs> There's like a thousand buildings here. Uh... Hate my life. Also, I put that guy totally in the wrong position. All right. I'm trying to think of the easiest way of dealing with this guy. I think judo throwing him over onto this thing would be the best thing to do. Does he go first? He does go first. Huh, about that. Um, I think it might be prudent to do this as well. Yeah, a little bit of damage here and there. Never hurt anybody, except people who take damage. We'll just absorb damage, I don't care. Nice. Alright, so, I mean, this guy's just toast, so. So, uh, at this point, it's more like, how do you like your, um, your vec? Do you like it uh, seared or well done? Fuck no. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can just go over there. You can go over here. Right, everyone else has HP, right? Yeah. Wait, right, you have actions available. Well, you can just repair yourself. And, uh, you go bring him over just because I told you to. Just we're in this ideal, uh, look, ideal formation. Alright, how to deal with this guy? The eternal question. Actually, I can't really do that anymore, can I? See, every single attack that we have deals damage to one of the beside buildings. Except for the one on, right on top of them. How do they seem to notice every time that this is my weakness? I can't pull him. I don't have a choice. It was just back to the fundamental question, what choice do I have? He went into the one area where I had no choice but to attack one of my own buildings. Why is the AI too damn smart for me? At least this guy is in a... No, uh, actually, yeah, he's fine. Alright, well, you just want to hit that? Well, whatever. Well, you can pull his, this guy back. A sec. No, we can't do that. Nice. Judo throw. All right. I need something to do direct attacks. This thing's just wrecked me the entire time. All right. Plus one mech reactor. We did miss one, so no perfect island. A piercing beam. 
Considering he has a mobility skill, this might actually not be the worst idea. What's this one? Okay, like, can we, can we, we don't have a brute in this party, so let's just accept this fact. Like, it even says there, so I have no excuse this time. Swap places with a nearby tile. That might be really good. I kind of like the idea of that one. Question is, do I want railguns? That is a tough question. Do we want railguns or do we want not railguns? Let's do, okay, what would we get rid of on this guy? Probably the vice fist actually. So that seems pretty nice. So let's go. Fuck, we need one power for this. We can do that. Yeah, fuck that thing. Fuck this guy. Alright. Power up the gun. And we have one more reactor thing. Oh, this guy is plus one reactor, so we're gonna give him movement. And we're gonna give this guy movement too. Or girl, whatever, I don't care. Get triggered. Um, Alright, that's. This is pretty good. I like this. We ended this up pretty well, so. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.